I'm in the Driftless area of Wisconsin, fly fishing with my dad for brown trout. The goal of this trip, truite au bleu, or blue trout. I've been wanting to try this dish for a long time, but it requires an extremely fresh fish, preferably only hours or even minutes between harvesting it and cooking the dish. And that's one of the reasons I find this dish so intriguing. You pretty much have to be a fisherman to ever experience it. I'm going to get into the specifics later, but now, let's catch some fish. Retrieving large streamers is great for targeting larger fish, and dry flies are a blast when the fish are looking to feed on the surface, but when it comes to efficiently catching some fish for eating, this method, called upstream nymphing, is hard to beat. Every one of these fish, in my eyes, is a jewel. I never get tired of looking at them or trying to catch them. Now I know that in some parts of the world, this is a tiny fish, only about 9 inches, but this is about the average size of the fish that live in these spring creeks. And that's okay, there's still plenty of great dishes to be made with fish in this size range. The vast majority of fish that I catch, I release back into the wild, but this time, I wanted to keep some to make a special dish called Tweet au bleu, literally, blue trout. This recipe has been around for decades, and was supposedly a favorite of fellow fly fisherman and author Ernest Hemingway, but it's unlikely that you're going to find this at your local restaurant, since the crux of this dish is extreme freshness. It should be alive basically immediately before cooking. The dish gets its name from the slight color change of the trout's skin during preparation, turning a slight bluish silver. It's not all about the appearance though, the flavor is supposed to be elegant and for the trout aficionado. It didn't take long for us to get a couple of keepers each, so let's head up the bank and get cooking. We'll begin by making a court bouillon, which is basically a quick and easy light stock used for cooking fish. Start with about one gallon of water and add to it one large chopped onion. No need to worry too much about consistency of size since this is just to flavor our stock. Also add a chopped carrot and either the juice from one lemon or preferably one entire thinly sliced lemon for a decent splash of acidity. A chopped stalk of celery is the last of our veggies, but we also want to add some herbs, one bunch of thyme and one bunch of parsley. No need to worry about chopping or tying, just toss the whole bunches in. I also recommend the addition of a bottle of dry white wine such as Sauvignon Blanc. If you choose to omit the wine, you should add another lemon to at least mimic some additional acidity. Season with a small handful of kosher salt, and lastly, add two bay leaves. Take a little break while the court bouillon heats up to a boil, then let simmer for at least 45 minutes to an hour. Then we're going to start prepping our salad dressing. Use three tablespoons of a flavorful oil of your choice. I'm using walnut, but you could also use a nice olive or something different. Combine with one tablespoon of white wine vinegar and season with sea salt and white pepper to taste. Whisk to emulsify and create a homogenous mixture. Make sure to give it a taste and adjust it as necessary. Now it's time for the fun part. It's time to turn our trout blue. Er, bluer. Okay, 
The amount of blue in you're going to see may be a bit of a letdown if you're expecting bright blue, but it is an interesting process. Use a non-reactive container to hold the trout and cover completely with white wine vinegar. In just a few minutes, you'll begin to see the skin and especially the eyes turn a shade of cloudy, silvery blue. It's a bit difficult to tell in this video, but the blueing shows up as the general darkening on the fish. If you don't see any color change, it's because your fish are too old or have been handled too much and the mucous membrane on the fish has begun to deteriorate, since it's actually this membrane that reacts with the acid and the vinegar to turn it blue. After 5 to 10 minutes or so, and the color change has completed, slip the fish into the court bouillon for 7 minutes for a small fish to 10 minutes for a larger one. Now, finish the watercress salad. I like using watercress with trout because it's found naturally in all these spring creeks. Theoretically, you could forage your own watercress from the stream you're fishing in, but tiny snails and insects frequently hide in the leaves that must be fully removed or you run the risk of some pretty nasty diseases. Now that the trout is done, take it out and carefully place it on the watercress salad to mimic a lively trout that you've just landed on the bank. This rainy weather is better suited for fishing than it is for concluding thoughts about the fish as I taste it, but let me tell you this, truite au bleu is for those who like their fish fresh, bright, and fairly mild tasting. Make no mistake, this is poached trout, but elevated. The flesh is super moist and full of pure trout flavor, and the watercress salad adds a pepperiness to complement it. If you're a fisherman and you have the ability to cook your trout immediately after catching it, I really recommend trying this at least once. This dish was made for you. I'm going to finish this in the tent now because the rain is coming in fast. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe.